that is a real beaver pelt hat. Back in the early 1800s, beaver hats were all the rave in Europe. What made beaver fur so popular? The fur has uh, these little tiny barbs in it that uh, help it to bind together really well and to create uh, a nice thick felt hat that is waterproof and very stylish. How much did a beaver hat cost in the early 1800s? Expensive, really, really expensive. <laughs> They actually were so valuable that fathers would pass them down to their sons in their wills. The demand for beaver hats was one of the reasons the Northwest Company Fur Trading Fort was established here in Dunvegan, on the banks of the Peace River. Dunvegan is located 90 kilometers north of Grand Prairie. Why did fur traders choose this location? Dunvegan was a gathering place for the local uh, Daneza or beaver people for thousands of years. So when the fur traders came along, they uh, saw that there were people already gathering here. They thought that it would be a great place. There were lots of beaver and other fur bearing animals in the area. In 1956, Dunvegan became a provincial park. Many of the historic buildings of the 1800s have been restored or replicated. This is the St. Charles Church, built in 1885. Both First Nations people and European settlers worshipped here. Oblate Roman Catholic priests lived in the St. Charles Rectory. That was a Hudson's Bay Company house where the man in charge of the fort would live with his family. And it is the second oldest fur trade building left on its original site in Alberta. This building was built in the early 1900s by a fur trading competitor to Hudson's Bay Company called Revion Frere. We don't have any real evidence of what might have been in the building except for one thing, and that one thing is a theft report. Two brothers broke into the building, they stole things like candy, tobacco, uh, some gloves, and they were caught by the Northwest Mounted Police. A theft report was made up and we were able to still actually access that report and use it as one of the clues to help us figure out what is in this building. This is our skunk fur and believe it or not skunks were actually popularly uh, traded for in the fur trade. Fur trading declined in the early 1900s and the Hudson's Bay Post at Dunvegan shut down in 1918. But you can relive the memories at historic Dunvegan Provincial Park. The visitor center is open from the long weekend in May to the long weekend in September. Friday Fun Facts is brought to you by RPAP, Alberta's Rural Health Professions Action Plan, keeping healthcare close to home.